So just to review this, this little step-by-step -step strategy, we're going to do our exercises three to five minutes every time we sit down to read for now. Every time we sit down to read, three to five minutes of exercises. We want to be relaxed and focused when we sit down to read. We need our movies to be, our visual, our visual eidetic images to be like a movie, a, a string, not bouncing around in puzzle solving mode. So to help achieve that, we're going we're gonna to begin this daily practice, ideally twice a day. In the summertime, twice a day. Before we go back to school, twice a day. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon or evening. We're going to sit down to do our exercises. Crossing, 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 crossing. Focus, focus, focus. Nice, relaxed, having fun, counting forwards and backwards. Five minutes, three to five minutes. We're going to begin reading one word at a time. One word at a time. For the first five, three, let's say three to five minutes of our reading session, sitting down to read, we're going to read one sentence or phrase at a time. Stop. As, as the child, I'm going to look up to my left. Now, parents, as, you, as the support person, I want you to be mirroring this. And what I mean by that is you're going to be mirroring the child through the exercises. Breathing in, breathing out, relaxed and focused. If everybody's stressed out, we're not ready for this. We're not ready for this. We need another intervention, another level of intervention to get us ready to, to, to do this work. So we want to be matching and mirroring the child through the exercises, mirroring their motion, breathing in, breathing out, nice and relaxed. I, this is so important, and I practice this so much, I have literally, for seconds, almost dozed off with clients. I know that sounds horrible, but the point is, that I'm getting so relaxed. I'm getting myself into a relaxed, focused state. Closing my eyes, visualizing. Okay. <laughs> uh, that would be, that would probably not be good if I dozed off during the movie. Okay, but, but seriously. Do what you can to be, be what you're asking your child to do. Be it. Be relaxed and focused. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out, focusing. All right. We're going to read one word at a time. We're going to begin, we're going to take the first three to five minutes reading one phrase or sentence at a time. Stop and visualize it. If your child is fortunate enough to say, this is easy, awesome, awesome. If they're already here and they can read one phrase or sentence at a time and easily visualize it, that is absolutely awesome. You're right on track. And if we can get to visualizing one paragraph, we read a paragraph, stop, look up and visualize it for five minutes. Read a paragraph, visualize it. Read a paragraph, visualize it. And what we're doing here is we're training the brain. We're retraining the brain. Yes, our eyes are looking at the words, but our focus is actually up here in that visual memory, that eidetic memory, that imagination, that world of pictures and imagination. That's where our focus is. The words are just the mechanism, the medium to continually to build our movie, to shape our movie, to kick our movie to the next place. Hope that is really, really clear. So th three minutes visualizing one sentence at a time. Five minutes visualizing one paragraph at a time. And after that, it's basically one page at a time. 
I encourage all my students, no matter how fast you're reading, to pause at the end of each page and check in. Make sure that you really do have that image of what you're reading. Maybe it's just three seconds after with some practice. But stop. As you turn the page, see that you have your image. See that you haven't drifted off, right? Just make sure that you've got, you're still solid. One last little trick. This is awesome. It's great. Big bang for the buck. Whenever you're finished with a reading session, whether it's five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes, an hour, the last thing you do when you close that book, stop and run through your movie. Visualize the whole movie. Every, visualize everything you just read. And, and my experience, in my experience, this takes about one twentieth the time. Because your visual mind works so fast. You can literally visually review what you just read in one twentieth the time. So if you just spent 10 minutes reading, 30 seconds to visualize the whole movie. If you spent 20 minutes reading, one minute to revisualize. And it's and and in your mind, in your mind's eye, it's as if you just reread the whole thing. That fast. It's as if you just reread that entire passage in 1 20th the time. So this is an excellent, awesome thing to practice for, for reading, for studying. Um, and it's right there. That's the, the process right there. This is, exer this is an exercise to practice twice a day in the summertime, once a day if you're back at school. And um, you will notice a difference. You will absolutely notice a difference. If you're experiencing significant struggles in any of the other areas, writing, math, spelling, memorization of abstract information, critical thinking, deductive inductive reasoning, extrapolation, inferential uh, reasoning. Um, if you're struggling with social cues, if you're struggling with test preparation or test anxiety or, or just test taking in general, um, if you're struggling with focus and attention, um, severe disorganization or stress management, self-esteem, self-motivation. We've got people and programs to help you. So this is hopefully a good beginning. This is, I hope you have an awesome time feeling a new level of success in your life, seeing your child feel a new level of success. And by no means feel that this is the end. This is just the beginning. But it's such an important beginning that again, we felt it was important to give this away. We want to give. We want to see one million readers uh, uh, coming up in the next year using our program. We want to see one million children let go of their reading struggles and find a new sense of 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 success and accomplishment in their in their academic lives. So that's that's what we're hoping to achieve: um, a new success for one million students, a new success with reading and comprehension. Um, and again, we, we have, um, if, you, if you find that you need and want additional assistance, we have learning specialists in eight countries now. We have programs available online to parents and teachers, and, and we have a learning specialist training program. And our goal is to get this, get this success, get this, this knowledge and, and success to, to as many children as we possibly can. So again, congratulations and thank you.